hello and welcome back to fashion with sort out youtube channel how are we all doing so in this tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this gorgeous kaftan dress it is so easy to make and also beginner friendly so guys here is my ankara fabric here i have the all six yards of the ankara and then ankara fabrics length comes falls within 45 to 48 inches so for this gun because it's a full gun it won't be enough to fold it to have it unfold on that length of 48 and that is why i'm going to open it and then fold it on the width so that we can have the desired length now i have folded it using the widest part of the body which is the hip for this particular project the hip we are working with is 44 inches so i folded it dividing i divided the 44 inches into four and then i had 11 i added two and a half inches extra so in allowance so that's what i have on fold i have 12 and a half inches on fold so i'm going to mark out my length the length we are working with is 40 57 inches i added extra three inches so in allowance to it i'm going to cut it out right now and then cut the back also so guys i have my front and my back placed on each other as you can see the back is with zipper allowance so i have extra 1.2 inches as my zipper allowance for the back i want the calf down to have zip but you can also make it without zip do you understand so the first markings i'll do is my arm hole using my back measurements to for the starting point the back arm the back measurement i work i'm working with is 15 inches divided by two that's seven and a half i added half inch to it to get my back and then i drew down the um the arm hole length so that we can get we can form our arm hole guys i'm sorry i don't know my camera didn't pick that so all I, I did was to measure my back and then mark the arm hole out i'm going to get the the midpoint of it and then form my arm hole do we understand i'm still going to draw it down for you to see but while covering this i didn't know it didn't cover the edge the starting point of the of the dress i'm sorry about that now the next thing we are going to mark is our neck and for the next second phrase for the back i'm going to be making use of three and a half widths by two and a half depth for the back why for the front i'm going to make it a v v neck so for the front i'm coming down by seven inches depth so i have marked the back i'm also going to mark the front so like i said that the front is v-neck so after connecting the back so that one we have is for the back i'm going to come down by eight inches i didn't use seven i later extended it to seven eight inches guys so that we can have it since it's v-neck so that it won't be choky so i then take my ruler and make a connect in v shape do we see it we are going to leave this and then proceed to um our body circumference the first point we are working with is 11 inches i'm going to mark it out and then we'll proceed to the under bust length our under bust length is 14 inches i also mark that and then the half length we are working with is 16 inches so i'm going to mark i'm also going to mark out the 16 inches next is our hip line so for the hip line from the half length i'm going to come down by seven inches so i'm adding seven inches to the 16 inches half length do we understand so that is basically all we need for this so the next thing we are going to do is impute the body circumference and then the like i said that the bust i'm working with is 
40 inches divided by 4 that gives us 10. I'm going to mark the 10 both on the chest line and on the boss point the 10 inches and then add two and a half a sewing allowance the same thing i have there is what i will extend to the boss point now to our underboss circumference the circumference is 34 divided by four that's eight and a half i'm going to mark the eight and a half and also add the extra sewing allowance to it so the sewing allowance i mean is both the is allowance and the sewing allowance so like one inch is for the um is allowance one inch is for the sewing allowance and the other one and a half inches that we have will be for the is allowance do you understand kaftan dress is not to be tight on the body is should it should be a little bit free now the same thing is our waist circumference the same 39 uh, 34 we add on the underboss circumference is the same thing we have on the waist so i'm just going to make a connect to the hip the hip circumference is 44 inches i also added the ease and the sewing allowance to it so what we have on the hip is what we are going to extend to the m of the gun we are not going to because it's a free dress it should be it shouldn't be tight at the nail it shouldn't be tight at the hem so the same circumference we use for the hip is what we are using at the hem length so i'm cutting out everything now then we'll move to our sleeve now i have my sleeve very folded this is a basic sleeve i'm going to mark it out and then cut before we cut the flare part of the sleeve now i want to check out the length i have there is 13 inches i'm checking out the circumference to be sure that i have enough needed of course i i do and i have excess all we need is 12 inches that is 10 inches then the two extra inches so i'm going to come to the aim of it also and they mark the circumference i needed for that so like i'm making a connect and then i will cause now this is ready we we'll then move to this to the flare part of the sleeve i have my fabric folded into four because it's a flare dress a flare sleeve rather and then i have it on nine inches fold as length and i'm then going to mark the nine inches around the fold so that we can have the flare then the opening of the flare i'm marking out two inches all the way and then we'll so guys we have everything needed cut out i've also cut facing to my dress to the main dress so then this is it this is the lace we are working with so what i will do now is first before we go to the machine i want to show you how i'm going to fix the lace to the dress so now i have opened it then this is the lace i'm working with just like i said i'm going to place it like in this manner so that i will have it in v shape too so after placing it this way i'm going to cut it and then place it at the other side so that we can have it in v-shape do we understand before i fix the center one i mean the center lace i'm going to fix this first i'm going to the sewing machine now i'll fix it and come back to show you how it came out then we will arrange the center one there now i have it sewn done as you can see it's neatly sewn and there is no even trace of swing because i use the matching thread now to the center one you just want to be sure everything is well arranged before you go to the machine if not you will have it shift so i'm going to place it and then pin it down this is just a safe precaution to have it neatly sewn and beautiful now guys i've gone ahead to the sewing machine and this is what we have after you can see that everything is well sewn and very neat what i'll do next is fix 
the facing. You can see the way I place it. I will sew it and then join the back facing also and then come back to show you what I have afterwards. Now, this is the front. The facing has been sewn and ironed. You can see the outcome. Can you see how neat it is? The back and the front. And then the same thing I did to the back. I fixed the facing. There's nothing so much to do again other than to fix everything together, both the neck, the shoulder, and the side. Now I've done that. I've gone ahead to done to do that, and this is the outcome of the dress. You can see how neatly sewn it is. I also fix a pocket to it. Maybe in my subsequent tutorial, I'll show you how to fix pocket to a dress. I've the next thing we'll do now is fix our sleeves to it. I've joined the sleeve then i will join it to the dress you can see how neat it came out let me go to the sewing machine and fix the dress and show you the total outcome outlook now this is the full sewing of the dress and this is what we have at the end you can see how beautiful it is guys i'm sure you got value watching this video if you do do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends likes make comments if there is any comment and then guys i will see you in my next tutorial thanks for staying true to the end bye